think of it. <laughs> 13 years. <laughs> Nailed it. Chocolate brioche. Um, what are your thoughts, Baz? Mate, all in my mind, what I've got in my head at the moment is chocolate bread. You can't go wrong with chocolate bread. No. So if it's chocolate and brioche, and I'm sure that there's some sort of interesting twist, then uh, we're in for a good one tonight. Staying in is the new going out, but only if you've got great food and your mates with you. Unfortunately, we don't have any other friends, but the food is incredible. In each of these episodes, two of us cook up something awesome to share and to kickstart our big night in. What's that coming over the hill? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very heavy slate with a pretty awesome thing on it. Mate. And the thing is, ah! <laughs> oh, right. no, this hasn't worked. Oh! He actually oh. just did that. What we have in front of us oh. to celebrate. Is a brioche flower with creme fraiche and bee pollen. Because it's a flower! Because it's a flower. Blooming blossom and pollen. That is brilliant. It's like a uh, Swiss bun, isn't it? Yeah. It looks a bit like a cinnamon. Does it look like a it's cinnamon? It's got the well. swirls in there, yeah. yeah. And it all starts with a pretty basic brioche dough. If you're going to make a brioche flower, where do you think you start? I'm going to tell you where you start. You start with brioche. We're going to make. Probably the easiest brioche in the world. Fact. All you need is some yeast, add it into some milk, and then you're going to add that into a bowl along with everything else. And by everything else you mean? Oh, right, fine. You're going to need to add in some flour, some butter, some sugar, some salt, and four eggs. And you need it. For how long? Uh, for as long as it takes. <laughs> Until it's really, <laughs> really elastic. And the observant amongst you might have noticed this. It's the one that has indeed been kneading for five minutes already and then proving in a warm place for an hour. Look how it's grown. So once the hub bread's proved, yes. then, then what happens? Well then, you split it into four different sections and you roll each one out. Each quarter, we roll flat to the shape of a plate. Glad you mentioned that we proved this. Which we did. We did, because not all breads need proving. No. No, and actually Joel has asked, what breads don't need proving because he's a lazy chef and doesn't <laughs> have the time to prove Fair he enough. said that, not me. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, basically, any bread that has yeast in it will need time to prove. You need to live, give it time to do its thing. Yes. However, there are loads of breads around the world that don't. Flatbreads. Yeah. I mean, they have um, maybe baking powder in it. You can get things like cornbread. It's yep. made from self-raising flour and baking powder. Pitta breads. That's kind of the air inside them that they cook really quickly that puffs them up. Flatbreads like chapatis. There's loads of breads that don't have yeast. Those are the ones that don't need proving. But most of them still need kneading. Yes. Well, I hope we needlessly proved a point there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. In between each layer of rolled out dough comes the best bit. Plenty of warmed up Nutella spread onto the layer, but don't push it right to the edges. Now that we've got four layers of enriched dough and three layers of Nutella, comes the tricky, fancy bit that makes this flour Beautiful. Place a small round template into the centre and then cut from the template to the edge through all the layers into 16 equal pieces. And then take neighbouring segments and give it three half twists. One, two, three. And push together at this end. Now before you get carried away and think we're geniuses because we're doing this, we're not. We've stolen it. Correct. I found it on a Facebook video. <laughs> Anyway, gave Ben a week and he'd made it. Leave your beautiful French chocolatey flour in a warm place under a tea towel for about 45 minutes to prove again and then brush it very carefully with beaten egg before placing it into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. Hey, stop dipping it in your tea! <laughs> Why? We I like you tea and I like the brio! <laughs> no one is missing out here! I was going to dunk it in this because this is really rich. When you go into creme fraiche, it just kind of cuts through the sweet Nutella oh, stickiness. What does bee pollen taste like? Not honey. I have to be honest, just like Jamie said, I, I expect it to be like sweet and honey, oh. but it's not, it's floral. It is really floral, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's lovely. It's basically mm. the bit from a flower that the bee collects, and then they just take it off its back legs or whatever. I'm not entirely sure how they collect they, it. What, they grab the bee? Oh. They catch bees? I'm not sure. <laughs> just like slowly but surely get a small pair of tweezers. Someone's job they, is to shave oh. bee's legs. Well, it looks great. It's obviously smelled great, and... <laughs> it smells like a question. <laughs> and it smells like it's 
Sounds like the perfect time. <laughs> it smells like it's coming from Ben. <laughs> it's funny you say that. I do actually have a question. Oh, great. And I feel like I can ask this one. It comes from Dennis. Mm -hmm. And Dennis asked, who is the smartest out of you three? So I'm going to put you to the test. Oh, man. One ultimate pub quiz trivia question. Ooh. Okay, right. Now, given that we are British Channel, I thought I'd go for something based in London. What was the first oh, London sure. Underground line to open sure. in 1863? It was the Northern Line, was it not? It was the Piccadilly Line. Victoria Line. Is that the first correct answer? Not yet. There's, oh, more, there's more still to Central get. Line. Nope. Jubilee Line. No. Hammersmith and City Line. You are all so smart, it's unreal. The, the clue might be in the fact that the name is similar in any other city. It might not be the underground, it might be called the... Subway. Shoot. Metro. Okay, I think we can happily Metro conclude. Line. You are the smartest, Jamie, but what? only just... Oh! And I think it's probably fair to say you all suffered. I think that well, proves hold, hold it, Hold it back. This will prove something. What colour is that line? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we've come to the end of the video. Uh, and look, that is a disability and you should not be laughed at. I'm so sorry.